Minister, thank you for inviting us to share our proposed strategy to increase vaccine uptake and strengthen routine immunization in Kronos. Low COVID-19 vaccine uptake with only 23% adults vaccinated, adverse effect following immunization, expired vaccine and information gaps are the issues. We recommend reinvigorated efforts to help build awareness, confidence, trust and demand for COVID vaccines and reclaim routine immunization coverage by sharing vaccination benefits to individuals and communities of this great Kronos nation. 24% has received at least one dose of the vaccine with 8% reported among pregnant women. This hesitancy is being fueled by information gap on COVID-19 vaccines and fertility and lack of timely response to queries. Poor engagement with communities resulting in reduced race perception has been raised as an issue of concern by communities, especially young people who make a third of the population. Healthcare workers are struggling to respond to queries made and the limited number of health workers attached to public health centers is making the situation die. Only 36% facilities in Shun's province have a power backup generator. Staff are relying on manual recording of temperature because refrigeration tags that can remotely monitor continuity of coaching are not activated in the province. Uh, at Kronos Team 31, we propose a robust risk communication and community engagement approach to manage and address vaccine hexagons, complementing the service delivery activities by the Minister of Health. Throughout this process, uh, we consulted our team of collaborators to ensure we are building meaningful and trusting relationship in a participatory and sustainable manner. Our target population are women of childbearing age, including pregnant women, young people who constitute a third of Kronos population uh, in the age range 16 to 29 years and healthcare workers. Our strategies include coordination of RCC activities chaired by the Ministry of Health RCC coordinator, including crisis communication at both the national and province level. Timely activation of the crisis communication plan in case of an AEFI will help mitigate fears within the community, reassuring communities of the safety of the vaccine and propel people to continue seeking health services from the health facility. Utilizing existing community and health structures, including inclusion of community gatekeepers, starting with local, religious and traditional leaders. Our second strategy is strengthening collaboration between the government, partners, and private sector, including resource mobilization for setting up and activating an emergency operation center, and power backup for an interrupted cold chain and a continuity of delivery of services to all people within the facility and during outages. Other strategy is capacity building for health workers on supporting both cold chain, including activation of refrigerator tags, and risk communication and community engagement, thereby building trust and reclaiming the confidence communities had on healthcare workers. Our last strategy is a well-coordinated social listening, including monitoring and analyzing of conversations happening both online and offline, specifically health hotlines, community discussions, and on most common use platforms of our target population, WhatsApp share and smash smash, while creating memes and infographic driving vaccine uptake challenge, hashtag vaxxed for life in a pursuit of a long life well lived. To strengthen emergency preparedness and routine immunization, fostering community-led programs and increased ownership and feedback on all health concerns and AEFI monitoring, continued on the job training, ensuring healthcare workers are up to date with emerging technologies and knowledge monitoring, diagnosing, filling information voids and with authentic science-based information to avoid misinformation, disinformation and malinformation spread. Real responses to, com to community queries, restoring trust and confidence to the health program, including routine immunization. Dear Minister, to successfully implement our strategy, we need a funding of $22.5 million. 
This will support our risk communication, communication engagement activity implementation, getting the required backup, power backup for all, power backup for all our health facilities to avoid expiration of vaccines, immediate capacity building of healthcare workers and securing capable hands for infodemic management and information, education, communication, material review and dissemination exercise. Thank you very much, Mr. Minister.